QFT1 IT management capstone project. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the career side and on the education and learning side. I am a recent WGU graduate. I got my IT management degree, my bachelor's of science, IT management degree specifically. And with the help of my enrollment counselor and my program mentor, and really just my own desire to get done with things as quick as possible, I was able to complete my degree in three and a half months. And so I started on November 1st, 2022 and completed my last course on February 16th, 2023. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what was my final course, <laughs> and that was the QFT1 IT Management Capstone Project. Now, this is one of those courses that we're going to take our time with explaining. We're going to talk about what this is, why it's relevant to IT, what were the course requirements, and then how do you pass? So, so this Capstone Project, this is not necessarily like a course in the traditional sense, it's more of a project. And this is, I think, one of those projects for the people who are entrepreneurs at heart. And I have to say, I was really surprised that WGU even had a course like this because you hear that whole saying that schools are meant to build employees and not business owners. With this one, I have to say that I beg to differ. And one thing I think a lot of people really, really overlook when it comes to creating a business in any field, in any area is there are administrative things that you have to be able to do in order to make a business. It's not just, I have an idea, I got a product, buy my stuff. It, it, there's a lot of stuff that happens in between and it requires a lot of thinking. And so this is a really cool course. It challenges you in a lot of ways. Whatever area of this degree that you felt the weakest in, you're about to get exposed. Now for me, it was the accounting course. I got through it with a hope and a prayer. I don't even remember how I got through it, but I did. And it was the thing that held up my submissions the most. If you want to know more about just like how to shore up accounting, I have a video, but I'm going to recommend actually someone else's video. So there's a creator named Apted. He has definitely supported my journey here, but I saw his recent video on accounting and he really goes over some interesting things that I think will also carry over for this course. So for me, it was accounting. I don't know what it's going to be for you. There's so many different layered topics here. But in short, just remember, you have access to your courses even after you complete them. So you can go back and review things that you may have struggled with because I guarantee you something is going to show up here. I'm trying to think about all the things that I had to really cover with this project. I don't want to reveal too much on the site because there's a lot of stuff that's just you know, I don't know. I, I, I just don't feel like it's going to meet the academic integrity. But what I will say is that there's a big emphasis on marketing. There's a big emphasis on financials. And really, you got to think about things in terms of what are you trying to offer? So if you were to own a company, would the company be based on a product or a service? Those are two things you had to really think about. Are you going the Apple route where you're selling new, innovative, commercially friendly <laughs> products, mobile devices, laptops, computers, TVs, that kind of thing? Are you selling education like Udemy or Pluralsight or IT Pro TV, one of those kind of services? And then if it's not that, are you doing consultant work? There's a lot of consultants out here for a lot of different products. Maybe you know a platform like Jira really well, and you want to become a consultant for how to use Jira. I did mine for a service around startups. I'm not going to share my idea because it could be a million dollar idea, <laughs> but this is really going to be the first step. Define what you want to do. Do you want to sell a product? Do you want to sell a service? And from there, I think it gets really easy once you determine that to really go through each of these things. So you have to kind of state who you are, what your mission is, and then really go into how you're going to be competitive. That's really what I can tell you in short. If you do the business simulation, though, 
that is going to definitely be a course to help lead and guide what you should be doing here. You're just doing a lot more writing as opposed to playing in an interactive game. So just something to keep in mind, something that you to think about. And this is the, for me, this was the last stop. This is the final submission that I did and it felt good to be completed with it. But again, if you're like me and you didn't like accounting, it's going to expose you. <laughs> and it's not even a hard assignment, but I just didn't do well in it. And I had to resubmit three or four times. And it's funny because the evaluators were like, hey, do you want to schedule something with your instructor? You seem like you're struggling. <laughs> and I was like, no, I got this. But all in all, I, I had fun with this course and it really had me thinking, like, man, I can really I can really put some time into thinking about a business that I want to do. And in fact, I am thinking about one already, but this helped put some things in perspective for me. So all that said, I this is more of a really casual overview of the course, just my opinion. If you've completed the course, let me know in the comments. What was your impression of it? How did you feel? What was your biggest kind of hurdle? I'm going to wrap this up by saying that school is definitely not the easiest thing, especially if you're an adult returning back to education like myself and you have to work full time. Maybe you have a family. So it's going to be hard. And for that, I want to really say that it's going to be important for you to give yourself a little grace. Right. Don't be hard on yourself. But instead, and this has been my model for 2023, work hard on yourself. When I say work hard on yourself, work on your study habits, work on creating a good study environment, work on communicating to people that you're going to be busy. Like these different things that you have going on, there's always a way around them, but you have to be creative, right? Not destructive and not just self-loathing. You have to think about what it is that you want to accomplish. And I promise you, there's people out there that are going to support you. I was doing 3 a.m. study with me chat videos. <laughs> People were signed up and study with me when I was trying to get through my operations and supply chain management course. There are people who reached out to me in LinkedIn and, you know, the comments to support me. That stuff makes you feel good. It helps to clear out all the noise you have about why you're not doing well or the fear about success. And I'm not going to lie. Submitting this assignment multiple times had me a little scared. Man, am I going to graduate? Am I going to do this thing? But I got it done. And I live to tell the tale. So um, just take your time. You're going to do fine. And uh, yeah, we got you. Hit us up. In the, hit me up in the comments. The community is here. We got your back. I want you to do well. And I know you will. So thank you for watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Dear me. Dear me. Three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.